So this monument you see here marks the spot where Texas, New Mexico, and Oklahoma come together. So right now I'm standing on Texas soil. Up that way is New Mexico, and over here is Oklahoma. And so this area was hit particularly hard by the Dust Bowl era of 1928 to 1940. And so today we're going to explore this part of Texas to see what it looks like decades later. You can see this really small mountain that lies on the New Mexico side. I do believe that is of volcanic origin. And so this is the absolute northwest corner of the state of Texas, or the northwest corner of the Panhandle. And so looking up, this highway here runs from Oklahoma through New Mexico, but never touches the state of Texas. I believe this is Highway 412. So right now I'm standing at the intersection of Schamberger Road and Clark Lane. As I pan around to the right here, you can see a slight rise, a ridge in the landscape. That is the highest point in Texas outside the western mountain areas. The highest of the high plains in the state. This is at around 4,800 feet above sea level. So now I'm in the small town of Texline, the northwesternmost town in Texas. Between the years of 1928 and 1940, this region of the country received significantly below average rainfall most of those years. This combined with the agricultural practices of the day set the stage for the infamous Dust Bowl era. During the 1930s, Congress passed a series of acts which allowed them to buy back failed farmland and restore the grasslands. This allowed for the creation of Rita Blanca grasslands. So there are some maps that you can find online which will show you routes that are publicly accessible by vehicle. However, some of these roads aren't in very good shape, so I do recommend at the very least a high clearance vehicle and possibly four wheel drive. I recommend studying these maps carefully before you come out to this area so you don't get lost or accidentally venture onto privately owned ranch land. A family made memories in this old house, long since abandoned. So this old building is here on Old Schoolhouse Road, so I assume perhaps this was a school at one time. And so here's a shot of the picnic area and campsites here at Thompson Grove. 
I will say this, I'm a little disappointed in Rita Blanca National Grasslands. You've got this vast area of prairie and the only thing that's for obvious public use is this small little area. I thought I was going to come out here and see vast tracts of land with no barbed wire, open rolling prairie. I don't think there's a single obvious hiking trail in this grasslands area. It'd be nice if there would be at least one like trail that would take you to some interesting natural sites, a spring, uh, something. Probably not enough interest in visiting this area. Those of you familiar with my channel may have seen a video that I posted a few months back called The Disappearing Towns of Northwest Texas. The town that inspired that video back several years ago was the town of Morton. I was way out here in West Texas working at that time. I just happened to pass through town when I had a little free time and I was surprised at just how many empty buildings there were in the town square and all throughout and so that got me to thinking about towns way out here in remote areas of texas that may be slowly fading disappearing so this town has experienced significant population decline since 1990. you know you've got a problem when that's the only thing left on the town square There haven't been any movies playing at this theater in a long time. So the town of Morton has great significance to me personally. Had it not been for this town, I probably never would have been inspired to make the video The Disappearing Towns of Northwest Texas. My channel would not be as big as it is today. I would not have near the subscribers that I have or the views. It would not be monetized. And so you also wouldn't have the great variety of content that you get to watch today. And so Morton, Texas, I say thank you for the inspiration. And so when I look at towns like this that have a lot of abandoned buildings, I'm not happy to see them. I'm actually fascinated and saddened at the same time. <laughs> 